give me some late round guys uh, at the wide receiver position, Matt. And we're talking late, late, late. Uh, that you really like and think could pop off. Van Jefferson is a vertical threat. Jacoby Myers, I think, deserves to be mentioned. Marvin Mims, who was a highly productive yeah. player in college. Look at the release. There's your separation. Wait, wow. Stutter and go. Gets by clean. That is unbelievable. May be the greatest catch I've ever seen. The one guy who doesn't really stand out, and I just want to mention his name because he is my favorite like double-digit round receiver, is Nico Collins. Uh, we've okay. talked a lot about Nico Collins here, so yeah. he doesn't really fit in this group. But just since we're talking about double-digit round favorites, um, I really like uh, you know him as a, as a double-digit round guy. But kind of this forgotten group of players. One, we talked about Van Jefferson. Uh, I think people forget that Van Jefferson was really good in 2021. I agree. Uh, he was totally. Agree. He was banged up last year. We know he came into the year um, banged up. We also talked a lot about on this podcast, like how that was kind of sneaky, a big deal that people just like yada yada, like all oh, Van Jefferson's not going to be there. But what it look, I was way too high on Allen Robinson last year, but we knew that Allen Robinson wasn't going to be like a vertical threat for this team. Uh, right. and Van Jefferson is a vertical threat. You know, you look back at his 2021 reception perception profile, 63.8% success rate on nine routes, 81.5% success rate on post routes. Uh, I really like that as to kind of like but the shot plays, you know, and, and look, if Stafford's back there, they're going to whip it. And I think they're going to whip it to Van Jefferson, who was good the year they won the Super Bowl, 53rd percentile success rate versus man. You know, that's a pretty solid number. It's not special, but it's solid. But Jacoby Myers, I think, deserves to be mentioned. Reports out of uh, Raiders camp are that uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is struggling with the long ball. OK, shock. well, guess what? Yeah, shock. <laughs> but guess guess who's going to be open on uh, all the short and intermediate stuff? It's going to be Jacoby Myers, who the team right. paid a good bit of money to. I think he's kind of hey. forgotten. To, yeah, to piggyback on that too, though, there's also reports that uh, that uh, Hunter Renfro is kind of like completely fallen out with the Raiders. Oh yeah, right? they like so, want to trade him, but nobody wants to trade for him, I guess, because they right. gave him a, they gave him a shitload of money before deciding they don't like him anymore. It's just baffling, baffling, because Hunter Renfro is actually a good football player, and the Raiders cannot figure out how to get him on the field. Like, come on, man! So, like, again, uh, hand, noted hands eater, Zach, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Matt Collins was playing like ninety six percent. Matt Collins playing ninety six percent of the snaps. Uh, Hunter Renfro couldn't even get out there. What's going on? I don't understand. Anyways, but keep going. Uh, Michael Gallup, I think, is another one who obviously his best days in reception perception were earlier on in his career, you know, of course. But at the same time, there right now, basically any ADP source you look at is going to have Brandon Cooks way ahead of Michael Gallup. And uh, I, I just don't know if I buy that there's going to be that big of a gap. Um, and uh, look... I, I don't know because obviously Gallup last year wasn't very good. Uh, he struggled to separate coming off an ACL tear too early. But Gallup in 2019 and 2021, 71.2% success rate versus man, uh, 72% in 2020, 75.5% success rate versus press in 2020. Like if he can get, and he was never, he wasn't a great like zone beater or anything, but that's because he's running those high degree of difficulty X receiver routes. If he can get up back up to that kind of standard, like, Dallas really needs that X receiver to step up, and it's going to be Michael Gallup, not Brandon Cooks, and not C.D. Lamb. The only kind of young, guy, exciting guy I have on this list uh, okay. of like forgotten wide receivers is Isaiah Hodgins, who I think people are forgetting how good Hodgins was last year. And like, I love, I, I love Sterling Shepard. I'm glad he's back out there, but right. you know, we'll see how long he can stay healthy. Seventy-seven point eight percent success rate versus press. Uh, for Isaiah Hodgins last year and a solid 76.4% success rate versus man, he's probably their X receiver, I, if I had to guess right now, for the New York Giants. And, you know, we know they have a ton of slot guys. They have a ton of flanker potential players. Really the yeah. one guy I think could play X on this offense is Isaiah Hodgins, and, and he is, you know, kind of forgotten at this point. And, and last name I'll throw out. Okay. I mentioned Alan. I mentioned Allen Robinson earlier, and I I just kind of feel like he's going to be a pretty good fit as the slot receiver for the Steelers. <laughs> and that's all I'll say. He's free. He's okay. free. You don't. You, he's like goes in round twenty. He's free. Uh, three names that I will throw out there. Uh, we talked about one, Marvin Mims. Uh, again, he's got. Uh, I I think the the depth chart is is obviously unfortunately thinning out in front of him. And even if it wasn't thinned out in front of him, I think with his explosive ability, um, you know, we're talking about a guy who ran a sub four four, right? So this guy could get out run. 
Um, and, and to be honest with you, that's the one area where you look at Cortland Sutton or Jerry Judy. These guys don't give you that. They don't give you that no. explosive downfield, you know, playmaking ability. And by the way, we've highlighted on this very show, Sean Payton loves these speed slot guys, right? So Marvin Mims, who was a highly productive yeah. player in college, explosive athlete. They spent some draft capital on him. I, for the life of me right now, Matt, I cannot figure out why he is going so late. He's going so late in drafts. Uh, we're talking on, you know, four for fours, ADP, 12 team composite. He's going in round 17. Marvin Mims could just walk in and just immediately become uh, Russell Wilson's, one of his top, you know, target getters there in, in now what is a Sean Payton led offense. So I'm very intrigued with Marvin Mims. Sign me up for his price all day long. Um, a guy that we liked last year and didn't quite come to fruition, but we saw flashes. Alec Pierce there in Indianapolis. Now with Anthony Richardson, he's got this huge arm. Uh, we just made fun of these training camp videos, but man, did you see that training camp video where he's yeah, rolling out and just lobbing one 60 yards downfield to Alec Pierce, baby? Let's go. Let's go. That one was exciting. Uh, and that arm talent, that explosiveness from the quarterback position. That's just, they just haven't had that since Andrew Luck. Um, and Alec Pierce, who you and I both love his role in this offense as just a straight up vertical threat, you know, not a, a guy that's really going to sink his hips and stop and come back and, and do those type of things. But you know what? You get him going in a straight line. Yeah. I mean, this is a guy with a 40 inch vertical. So yes, yeah, sign me up for Alec Pierce. Finally, the last guy and, and, Again, another player, I'm not 100% sure why he's a forgotten man, but Rashid Shahid. I mean, this guy, I mean, what am I missing here with Rashid Shahid, Matt Harmon? Like, this guy yeah. was an explosive player last year. Every single time he touched the ball, it seemed like he was making house calls, man. Um, he's got a ton of highlights. And again, playing opposite Chris Olave, so you know he's not going to see the strongest coverage. Um, and with a huge upgrade at quarterback, at least we hope, with Derek Carr, I think Shahid's got a real opportunity now. There's no other target getters in this offense. You know, it's Olave and, and, and who else? I think it's going to be Shahid will be the clear number two. Um, you know, in this op offense opposite of Chris Olave. So those are three guys that I really, really like. 